although there's uh, actually nothing to see because I don't think anything's changed apart from I've now got the, all the cycle analysts wired up um, the handlebar which is actually the throttle signal that goes to the cycle analyst and I've wired I've got an error on there oh undervolt sorry um, I've wired the cycle analyst to the speed controller so the throttle is calibrated is actually adjusted through the cycle analyst so the speed control from this goes to the cycle analyst and then the cycle analyst provides the throttle to this so that's been calibrated the only thing I'm actually getting is an overcurrent um, when I open the throttle which means that the phase wires are drawing more than 300 amps so I've got a bit of a problem um, I don't know why, I don't know why it's doing it um, um, don't know anyway here we have a power breaker and the voltage, I'm in at 45.9 volts, that's actually saying 46 volts so it's near enough, oh it's saying 46 now, there you go so anyway that's done, so I'll flick that off and all the voltage and everything else completely drains out of it so I've done that, now what I've got to do is these are for the lights which I don't know whether I'm going to do that at the moment I don't know what I'm going to do with it to be honest I've got a lot of other things to do before I worry about the lights um, the top speed at uh, 48 or 46 volts I think it was was about 45 miles an hour so that's good hmm. so I've got all this monstrosity of wiring this is actually resting on this thing at the minute so as I can just spin the back wheel um, I've got all this monstrosity of wiring to actually bloody sort out but I think most of it's actually connected now the only thing I've got to do is on the handlebars I've got uh, speed settings which I think I'm going to plug into the cycle analyst again I don't know yet I may have the subverton actually control it um, the e-brake I don't need the uh, brake I don't need what I'm going to get done is I'm going to get the subverton sorry I'm going to get the cycle analyst to control the e-brake um, and also the regen so when I take my hand off the throttle it'll sort of lock the back wheel but the only problem that you've got with that before you think about doing it yes it's a good idea but but if you want to turn right and you need to put your right hand out <laughs> and you've got a twist throttle like I've got actually any throttle because they're all on the right so I may have to buy uh, an e-brake lever don't know yet don't know what to do uh, what's that then? Oh, that's the lock. That lock goes to my kill switch. That one there. What's that one there? Oh, that's part of the um, throttle. That one there's a throttle. All I've done is just cut the middle wire out of it and plugged it directly into the cycle analyst so it can control the throttle. So that actually goes back to the subverton. Oh, that one, that goes to the subverton throttle which I don't need so I can just cut them off and eat shrink them so the only thing I want to do now is um, connect that one and that one's the speed control and then I might 
to start with, I think what I'll do is I'll actually con uh, configure the Sabvaton so I can have three speed settings. Rather than messing around with the cycle analyst, I'll do that another day, but I want to get this thing semi sort of finished. Because it ain't easy. If you're thinking of buying a Sabvaton, uh, number one, make sure you know what you're doing before you actually commit to it. Um, and number two, don't. I know a lot about electronics and I know a lot about configuring things and I know a lot about PCs and it's just been an absolute nightmare. It's not easy at all, but now it's done, especially with the cycle analyst actually connected up and working properly this time because it wasn't in the other one. Everything's working just nicely. And that's got to be pushed into there, and I've got to find a way of actually connecting that in. Make sure it don't come out. <sighs> it's looking good, lads. It's looking good.